Hello and welcome to Few More Templates video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to download, edit and save your templates for print. First we need to download the template and it's nice and easy. After checkout you'll see this screen. You can click on the download now link here. So let's open the program. The files are in one folder called a zip file. You just need to open up the zip and you'll see your Microsoft Word files ready to open. You'll notice there are two Microsoft Word files, a letter size one and an A4 size one and a help guide. The help guide is really useful so I recommend opening that and taking a look. The letter size file is predominantly used in America and the A4 size is an international size so make sure you pick the right program there to edit. Let's get the program open and start editing. I recommend saving your file as soon as you open the document so you don't lose anything. So this is how the program will look when you open it up. The text is all in text boxes and the photo is all in text boxes as well. So it's nice and easy to edit. We just tap here. You can delete the name and type in a new one. And it's nice and easy, you can just select the text here, take out, you could take out this whole section if you don't have any pool bearers or don't want those to show on the template itself. And you can put anything you like in there. You can even add another photo. So to edit the photo, you click it, right click. There's two options here, so this is the first one. On my computer, I can just click change picture and I can insert a new picture into there so I press insert and it just pops right in the photo will sit inside the text box and fit within that shape there so if you've got a big um, landscape picture it will um, put it in there a little bit smaller but you can just resize that so it's nice and easy to insert the photo if you don't have the right click change picture option the other way to edit the photo is to click it, delete it, go to insert pictures, picture from file and click the picture and insert it. And again it just pops right in there. This one's just a little bit bigger so we can just pop it in a little bit and then it will sit inside our text box. If you want to move this around the document you can't move it by clicking the photo you have to click the text box itself and then you can move it around. To add more photos I recommend copying and pasting the text box and then you can move that anywhere in the document as it's been set up to move in front of the other items on the page and we can change the picture the same way so let's change that to this one and you'll see it's put it in a little bit smaller so it fits within the parameters of the text box and we can simply change it like that. When you've finished editing your program and you're ready to print you can simply go file and print and set up your document ready to print. If your program prints with a thin white border around the edge check to see if you have an option called borderless when you press print this will enable you to print to the very edge of the paper. If you can't find this setting, check to see if your printer is a borderless printer by checking the manual or doing a quick Google search. If you don't have the borderless setting and you don't want a thin white border, you can either print the program on a borderless printer or simply trim the program after printing. If you're taking the program to a print shop, you will need to save it as a PDF first and check that the PDF looks good on screen. If it looks good on screen, then you can take it straight to the print shop. To save as a PDF, you simply press File, Save As, select PDF, and press Export, or Save. If your PDF doesn't look quite right, you may need to adjust your margins to zero under Page Setup and Resave as a PDF. I hope that was helpful and if you need any further help, please send me a message via the contact page on funeraltemplates.com.